What's going on everyone? My name is Manny Ortiz and today I'm going to show you a magic trick. You guys see this right here? This little adapter? This thing has magic in it, like literally. I can autofocus almost any manual lens that I put on it. You don't believe me? Let me show you. Sony A9, Photo DX Pronto adapter, a Helios 58mm f2 old school Russian lens with an M42 to Leica mount adapter. Now, listen up. What? Oh! If that doesn't blow your mind, I truly don't know what to tell you. So now, what we're gonna do is go on location, and I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works in the real world, followed by some other photos that I did uh, using this setup. After that, we're gonna come back here and talk more of the technical details of this adapter and how we can get it to work for you. All right, so are you guys ready? Let's go. Ugh. All right, everybody, we are here on location with the Photo Deox Pronto adapter, which converts any manual focus lens into an autofocus lens. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna record the viewfinder so you guys can see how it actually performs in the real world. All right, here we go. So right now I have it in a single spot, large single spot focus. Here we go. One, two, and take a shot. Let's try focusing on different things. So focusing on her, focusing on that tree, that tree there, that creep guy over there. Yep, there I got him. Look at her, got her. And let me get a little closer. Overall guys, I was just absolutely impressed with the performance of this adapter. It actually reminded me of the Sigma MC11's performance. Uh, the speed is pretty incredible considering that you, it has a manual lens attached to it. And uh, and now I think I found the reason to start buying more vintage lenses. Oh, 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 it got him. Wow, really impressive. Oh, there he goes again. One of the cool things about this adapter is that it allows you to use continuous autofocus on the Sony camera. And at, upon testing, it actually did a pretty good job. One of the hard parts was the fact that this lens was n is not a sharp lens. It was kind of hard to tell what was truly in focus, but uh, after analyzing the shots, I would say around 80% were in focus, and I think that's a very reasonable number. Now let's take a look at some of the other photos I took of my wife in this photo shoot. Just got up, something's wrong I waited up with wounds on my feet Where will you be? Flickering through memories The Polaroids yellowed in the sun Longing to be seen So come and hide What's up everybody, welcome back, and hopefully you guys enjoyed those photos. Uh, I, I'm in love with that Sorelli Boca, what can I say? So, now let's go over some of the more technical details of this adapter. So this adapter is gonna work with Sony cameras that have phase detection autofocus. So these cameras are the 6300, the A6500, the A7 II, the A7R II, and the Sony A9. When using this adapter, you wanna make sure that you don't exceed the two pound limit or you risk damaging the adapter. You may be wondering how this adapter actually works and what it does is physically move the lens. So check this out. So as you see, the adapter works by moving the lens physically and it does make a little winding noise, but it's not a big deal. I mean, come on, you are autofocusing a manual lens. Like, get over it. Last but not least, this adapter is a Leica M mount. And the reason why it's a Leica M mount, it's because it's very versatile. And I'm gonna put a list up right here of the different kind of mounts that you can attach onto here. It's got a very short flange distance, just, uh, just creates a lot more possibilities for 
uh, using different lenses. And that is all around just awesome. All right, everybody, that's gonna conclude today's video. If you're like me and you like vintage lenses, but you just don't like manual focusing, this adapter could be for you. This is, um, it just opens up a lot of possibilities for us that don't like manual focus. For, you, for the people that like manual focus, you probably will not get this and you will continue shooting manual focus and that's all good. So, if you are not subscribed here, make sure you are subscribed. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I've got weekly videos coming, so stay tuned and I will see you next week in next week video. So, peace. All right, so I'm gonna start off shooting natural light only. Notice here that I am exposing for the model, really dramatic. Here I'm using group C on my flash with uh, the power is 1 1 28. That is the minimum power that my flash goes to, but it's all I need. I'm filling in the shadows on her face and you're gonna notice something. You're gonna notice how she really pops out of the scene.